Solo, a Star Wars story, was composed in 2018 by John Powell, which is the second time in the Star Wars film saga that a Star Wars movie was not composed by John Williams. Both had their moments, but they also both had really interesting and respectful nods to the musical universe that John Williams had already built. One of these nods by John Powell in Solo is truly original and unique in what we're talking about today. Almost all the music in the Star Wars universe is what we call non-diegetic. What that means is the music exists to the audience, but not to the characters. And we talked about this a little bit last week with the Hunger Games, with the <laughs> existing as a diegetic track. It exists in the world of the characters and it exists in the, the ears of the audience. It doesn't just help the audience, it helps both parties. Most of the music in Star Wars is not that way with some notable exceptions, including Figurin' Dan and the Modal Nodes Cantina Band, for example, which the audience and the characters can hear, and Max Rebo, of course, in Jabba's Palace. <laughs> but there's one real notable exception in Solo that really I find quite remarkable. So let's set it up. Near the beginning of the movie, when Han and Kira, the lovely Amelia Clark no less, are separated in the spaceport, while he's trying to figure out what to do, he sees some propaganda banners and a holographic video with a voiceover urging people listening to make a difference by joining the Academy. Classic evil movie stuff. But it's the music underneath this holographic video, this propaganda film for the Empire, that really draws your ears. Let's take a listen. Explore your world. Learn valuable skills. Bring order and unity to the galaxy. Yep, that's the Imperial March being played over the video. That's not just a non-diegetic track anymore that's used to make Darth Vader look even more menacing when he's walking down shiny hallways. The Imperial March has become the Empire's anthem. Their hail to the chief, so to speak. John Powell has inserted John Williams' music into the character's own ears which is insanely cool. And that, my friends, is one heck of a nod to John Williams. Thanks for watching this episode of The Blind Mole. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos on the channel. Also, don't hesitate to comment, ask questions, or propose ideas for future videos.